know, coach was was really angry about that. I, it feels like I just let um, let them kind of punk me. You know. So uh, I, the last couple of practices has been tough. He's been getting on me, giving me, uh, you know, to be more physical and stuff in practice. And then, uh, you know, he's, he's a good motivator, and uh, these guys are too. And so it's just, you know, I'm trying to be more more positive and more aggressive. Ty, what's it like when you've got these two guys doing what they did today? Um, I think it's hard to beat us when when, when they're playing like how, they, how they've been playing, you know, um, especially Jeff, you know. I think... Um, I think a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of teams they focus on uh, on Thomas a lot, you know. So when Jeff's playing well, it just it gives us that extra threat, you know. And somebody else in the post that can block shots, you know, rebound and score. He's shown he can score too, so I think that helps us a lot. Um, what, what was the difference between first and second half for you guys today? Um, they start playing a little bit more zone, and I think once they do that zone, we kind of you know just stood still a little bit. And it was more like a matchup, you know. It wasn't really like a traditional zone. It was more like a matchup, so. He kind of just, you know, was standing still and wasn't getting the ball moving fluently, and I think uh, end up, end, it ended up causing a couple turnovers and them getting out on breaks and stuff like that. Thomas, what are some of the ways that you know things up for you when, when Jeff's playing the way he's playing right now? Um, it just makes it a lot easier for me. You know, I feel like I'm not even working the score anymore now. You know, while the way Jeff is playing, so I mean, I mean, my play, you know, deserves nothing for it. I mean, this is all Jeff. You know, he's playing his butt off right now, so, you know, he's definitely, you know, the reason why we're playing good right now. Thomas, you ever scored a basket on some other guys? No, I was the first. <laughs> Tom, it seems like you're looking for Jeff Moore. Is that, is that good? Definitely, because, I mean, I know that he's a, he's capable of, you know, um, scoring. You know, it, you know, he proved that for the past two games, and, you know, right now he's on the road, so, you know, I feel like it's my job to, to keep him on that road, you know, especially when people, you know, focusing their attention on me a lot. You know, they just leave Jeff right there. Ty Sean, continuing on that, are the guards, after the Missouri game, have the guards been trying to make it, getting into Jeff a little bit more? Oh, yeah, I've been telling Jeff, I've been telling Jeff for a while, so when you get the ball in the post, you know, unless they come trap him, just to go, just to go one-on-one, because he's, a, I mean, he's a, he's been a really good <coughs> shooter, and it's hard to stop him. He's seven foot, so he can shoot over, he can shoot over guys, and a lot of guys try to use their body and their, and their strength against him, and I think that works for his advantage. So I told him, I mean, just to keep being aggressive, you know. So I like how he's playing. I, I want him to keep it up because it, it makes us a better team. Coach, were you trying to get Elijah off early, too, when you were looking for him? Um, he, hit a, he, hit, uh, he hit a couple shots tonight, and I think um, those shots that he was taking tonight were the same shots that he's been taking. He just hit him a couple. He just hit a couple tonight, you know. So I think um, – those, I mean, once he got off to a good start, I, I definitely started looking to him more, you know. But um, a lot of a streaky shooter, he can get hot. So when he gets hot, we want to, you know, we want to ride him. Uh, Sean, was Coach pointing at how well you played the first half or what you didn't do in the second half? <laughs> what we didn't do in the second half, of course. But um, yeah, I mean, because I think that's all that, that's all that matters, you know. Uh, we had the game one midway through the second half, at least. You know, we, we felt like that, and he wanted us to just get better, go out there and get better, work on our stuff, and, and we really didn't. You know, we let them dictate the whole second half, and if we wouldn't have got that big lead in the first half, this game could have went either way because how we played. So um, we definitely got to get better because we got to go on the road and get another tough one. Did Oklahoma State catch you guys off guard the way they came out in the second half, a lot more mm, than Kansas? No. Mm. All they did was go the wrong way. They catch us off guard. Jesse said yesterday that to make sure that you're aggressive on the court, you like to be pissed. Would you say you were pissed at him? Yeah, I would say, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I would say I was pissed, but um, yeah, I was definitely, you know, more aggressive. My teammates definitely helped me out by, you know, looking for me. Thomas is, you know, you take so much attention that, you know, uh, it leaves me open a lot of the times. And uh, so I, I just got open and, uh, you know, Ty, for a team like K-State that relies a lot on rebounds and loose balls and those type of things, how much does it change at all? Have you seen between when they when you play them here and when they've got that kind of crowd behind them? Oh, well, I mean, the intensity level for the team rises. You know, I think like anybody else that plays at home, you get their crowd. And, and we know when we play against Kansas State, they're going to have a good crowd <coughs> all the time. So I'm sure they're going to be hyped. Um, the last time we beat them on the board, so I'm sure that's going to be a big <coughs> emphasis for them. To, uh, to crash the boards and, and be more aggressive. 
And so um, you got to be ready to match the intensity and, to, you know, not, not, not get sped up and, you know, um, pl play into their hands, into their crowd's hands. What do you remember about the game there last year? Jacob pulling out, missing a shot. I felt like he just made every shot and we lost. We lose. So. Thomas is toughness the biggest factor when you play K-State? Is that what it comes down Definitely. to a lot of times? That's all it comes down to. You know, 50-50 uh, balls, rebounds, like you said. Toughness. We've been getting a full first, you know, as coaches say. Ty, what did you think of the uniforms? I think they look dope. I want to play them again. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. They feel nice. They're nice and light. Thomas, what was going on with Markel Brown? Huh? What was going on with Thomas Taker and you and Brown? I was just wishing him a good trip back home. <laughs> 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 Ty, this is your last trip to, to Manhattan. Does that, does that maybe give you a little extra of concern for one of them? And only three more home games, so it's, it's like last trip to Manhattan. Um, I'm excited, man. Like I said, we always always tough games here. Um, I, I lost last year, so I'm definitely want to go down there and get a win, you know. But it's gonna be a tough game, um, as it, as it always is over there, you know. Um, a Missouri-like atmosphere, so um, that's what we're expecting. We're expecting a, a tough road game, but you know, um, you gotta you gotta come back and practice tomorrow. You know, get better and just regroup. Now, is it better uh, coming off of a second half like this, going into a next game? Does that get teams' attention and focus maybe a little bit more? Yeah, for sure. You know, we um, I, we, I think we have a problem closing the games. I think that's one of our big things. You know, but well, not a problem. I think we just. We could we could do better at it. We could do better at it. And so um, coming off the second half like this and going into a tough road game like that, um, I'm sure Coach is going to emphasize the press that they put on us because he's sure he, I'm pretty sure K State's going to do the same thing. And just being tough, you know, he felt like we didn't play tough in that second half. So he's going to emphasize that, and we're going to be we're going to be better. We're going to be group, and we're going to we're going to get better. You know, I think um, having that big lead, uh, you know, kind of relaxed us a little bit, which it shouldn't have, but I think it did a little bit. All right, guys.